Are you someone who is taking multivitamin pills every day? If the answer is yes, you're like over 50% of all the adults in the US who take them regularly every day. Also, did you know that multivitamins are a multi-billion dollars industry because it is the most commonly used supplements worldwide? My name is Dr. Amir, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Multivitamins are supplements which contain different types of vitamins and minerals within the same pill. A lot of people don't know that these supplements are not regulated by the FDA, unlike any other prescribed medications. They also think that if they take a daily multivitamin pill, it can prevent chronic diseases and reduce the risk of heart problems. Researchers from Johns Hopkins University in the U.S. reviewed several studies about multivitamins and concluded that they do not reduce the risk of heart disease, cancer, or even memory loss. Also, they don't prevent chronic diseases or death in a healthy person. On the other hand, taking too much vitamins like vitamin D, vitamin E, or vitamin A can be harmful to your health. Definitely, multivitamins will not compensate for eating junk foods. So the common sense is to get the required vitamins by eating a healthy diet, especially fresh fruits and vegetables like salads, which will have a plenty of natural vitamins and minerals. On the contrary, for certain people, like pregnant women, elderly, or anyone with poor diet who are not eating healthy foods, or anyone who had a blood test documenting the lack of a specific vitamins, then they have to take the required missing supplements. In general, it is recommended for pregnant women to take folic acid before and during pregnancy to prevent birth defects. Also, most young women should take iron because of the potential anemia from the iron loss during their menstrual periods. Of course, elderly women after menopause should take calcium and vitamin D to prevent osteoporosis and bone fractures. Also, people who do not eat red meat, like in vegetarians and vegans, then most likely they will have low vitamin B12, so they should take it regularly. At the end, I would like to pay your attention that pharmaceutical companies who are producing multivitamins are not required to undergo studies, unlike other drugs. So choose a reputable company to buy their products. Second, pregnant women should ask their doctors before taking any medications, including multivitamins. Finally, if you're young, fit, doing regular exercises, and eating healthy foods, you don't need to take a multivitamins. In 2015, the United States Preventive Task Force concluded after analyzing several studies that multivitamins don't prevent cancer or heart diseases and won't prolong life in healthy people. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.